ready in my head. I knew my job. I knew that uh, I had four of the guys counting on me, and not even my four of the offensive line, but the whole team counting on me to do my job. So in that moment, just okay, let's go. Put the hard, on, hard hat on and go to work. Luke, have they made a plan yet for this week? Or is that still uh, that's a question for Coach Dan and Coach Stud. Um, so I'm still preparing like I'm a starter, and I'm told, I'm told otherwise. How, how did you grade out? Um, I think I graded out a champion, so um, yeah, pretty well. I thought I played pretty well. Were there any plays where you like, ah, I like that Yeah, one. I mean, obviously, everything, every game, like Coach Stud always says, you'd never play a perfect game, so going to every game, always take that out of your head. Um, but I mean, there's always a few plays where you're kind of like, oh, if I would have done this, or if this would have happened, that could have been a touchdown. But um, it's a good learning lesson. I think like just because it didn't go right in that one moment doesn't mean you have to frown upon it for too long. You can learn from it and move on and get it right from right now this week. Yeah. I thought that was pretty impressive. Like thinking about it after the game, I think I was talking to maybe my, um, my mom. She's not really too familiar with football. So I kind of just explained to her that like everybody that played started at a different position than they previously have in their life. And like just with that said, she couldn't believe it because how well we played and um, like you wouldn't have known I think if any normal person watched the game that that was the case so I thought it went pretty well I think that just gives us more confidence going into this game that now that we have one game under our belts other, at those positions that um, we're able to do it and now we're able to build off of it. What does it feel like to be sort of the hub in the middle of that massive wheel? <laughs> I mean, you know, because you know, do you, can you feel a little bit of the power around you? Um, yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, I'm definitely the middle of it. I, I was making jokes like I'm the midget of the group because everyone's six six, six seven, six nine, and uh, so I was kind of joking around that like I'm um, kind of the short guy in the middle. But um, yeah, I mean, I love it. I think I got four great guys playing next to me, and I'm um, excited to see what we can do this season. Were you, were you ever a tackle? Uh, yes, in high school I played uh, both tackles, the left tackle and right tackle. So you fit right in. Yeah, it? exactly. It was kind of funny. I was like joking. I'm like, I can do your job. And they all look at me like, yeah, okay. <laughs> when you got out there, it was raining, wet, and you first started on the road, and you told Bill you were ready to roll, but that didn't seem like an ideal way for you to make your way. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously now I'm looking at the forecast pregame, so it was going to rain. and. I mean, not definitely not ideal, but sometimes in life, not everything's going to be ideal, as we all know. So um, we kind of just got to grab the bull by the horns and roll with it. I think there were maybe one or two snaps you got away from you. Was that, was that part of it? Or? Um, no, that was, that was uh, my error and um, my mistake. So I got to get that right for going through this week. Was there, is, there, is there a moment or a play that you look back on that you were proud of or something you did that you feel best about? Um, I think the win as in the whole, I think just the win, I feel very proud of as my first start, just winning the game. I think we all played very well. Obviously, there's mistakes that we got to play up, but I'm really just proud of the win. Was there you know, anything uh, that you had to make up for because you were working mostly with the second team during fall camp? Uh, not really. Um, I think um, we all really have good chemistry in the old line room, whether you're the first team or second team. I think we all kind of really blend together and have a very tight-knit unit. So I think just going up with the first team, I don't really think much changed. I mean, I know Paris is there. There's got media guys I play next to. Um, I don't think much changed. Just getting the certain communications down um, during the week, but that only takes a day or two just to feel like what, what they like, how they like the presence of me, double team, and stuff like that. So, no, I don't think it was too much of a change. You guys don't know, her. so it's kind of, you can't really get a feel maybe for how CJ is looking, but uh, did you sense a change in him as the game went on from a Cowboys oh, standpoint? Yeah. I think CJ played amazing. I know like the first half maybe it didn't go his way as he planned, but I think he came out strong in the second half. I think at halftime you kind of see it in his eye that he really had the eye of the Tiger going into the second half, and I think that kept the offense definitely focused because we saw him ready to go. And we're like, all right, listen, he got this. Let's just roll for him. We can block a little bit of a second longer and help deliver the ball, which he did. Does he ever talk to you guys on the sideline? I mean, just come oh, over. Yeah. I mean, what, what are y'all talking about? Yeah, he definitely always comes out and tells great job or hey maybe do this or I need this or whatever it may be Luke that snap was low whatever it could possibly be but yeah he's definitely becoming a great leader and becoming somebody that this team looks to